welcome back to my channel. First of all, yes, I am dressed. Also, we are doing a huge cleanup. So I went ahead and cleaned the rest of my closet, which I'm gonna take you upstairs. There's a bunch of garbage going out as well as donations. I cleaned, sometimes it feels good to just do it off camera. So I'm gonna take you through all of the organization and kind of finish it up with you. All the organization I did in here, I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you what I did upstairs. It feels so good and it's so organized. And I feel like it might give you a couple of ideas as to how to organize things in your own home. And we're just gonna vlog this and take you through just a really cozy, amazing day inside. Where else would we be? We're gonna order some food. We had a lovely Valentine's Day. I shared our table setup, so we did like a beautiful brunch on the table here. And then we had sushi by the fire, I shared it all behind the scenes, but mostly I didn't wanna film it or stories it just to enjoy the day. And we had a beautiful Valentine's Day. Fun fact, it's our dating anniversary on Valentine's Day, 18 years and our actual wedding anniversary is coming up. It's on the 23rd, so we'll just, we kind of save our gifts and our, well, I did get him a really cute card. I got him a Super Mario card, but we save our gifts and our like true celebrations for then. And by then restaurants will be open, so we'll be able to go out and about. I was so jealous of those of you that were able to go have drinks and wine out with your hubbies and wives. I saw your stories, I was like, oh, I want to go out. It was beautiful, okay. So I'm gonna take you upstairs and show you the progress on my closet. So right now in the room up here, I have some windows just cracked open. It is cold out. Oh, and those of you from Texas, bless your hearts. You guys are just amazing with everyone. I follow a lot of Texans. I have a lot of friends that are from Texas and you guys are like, it's so cold. <laughs> You're cute. But that being said, the roads and everything, that's crazy. That's horrible. Um, we don't deal with that here because we're equipped for it. We have winter tires and stuff like that. You know, it's so cute whenever someone from the south is like, what's a winter tire? So all that to say, I have the windows cracked open just a little bit because we needed some fresh air. It is crazy whenever you are in quarantine, how little you realize how much you need the fresh air. Now, I cleaned off my bar cart in here. I will link this bar cart, by the way. I get a lot of questions about it. Ooh, let me turn on my super bright lights. If you're, they're not that bright, but if you were in, oh, they're not all on. There we go. If you saw the last vlog, I shared the lights that I did. I shared a little bit about this, but I get asked a lot about this bar cart and it's always on sale, like usually more than 50 off. So it's for the perfect size for right here. I have just a couple of pieces, some little martini glasses, I, I want to get another set of these, some like everlasting roses. And then I just have a couple of pieces left over from Valentine's Day. Okay, so here is the progress on the closet. All right, I have placed the order with Ikea. I got a, I measured it. I'm so paranoid about Ikea pack stuff. I measured it like, I want to say five times without exaggerating. So I got the pant rack that I showed you in the last vlog. It's going to come out. And these are all of the leggings that I actually wear during my workouts. So I personally like to wear shorts during my workouts just because I get really, really warm. But these are like my go-tos. Fun fact, there is an insane amount of Lululemon Align leggings in there. And then the rest are airy leggings and then a couple of just sprawlers. And then under here, I put the leggings that I wear less, like the printed colorful ones in these little boxes that are also from Ikea. And I put these ones, I think are just more of the seamless. They're pretty much all Gymshark in there. So those are just the ones I reach for a bit less. And these are the, definitely the go-tos. So I think this will make so much more sense than on hangers. So it'll come out as a pant rack. It's gonna be awesome. Then I organized, I always, always wear sock slippers. Listen, they're not the cute. Well, sometimes they're cute, but they're not the cutest and they're hard to store. So I figured I would store them like this. So same thing, one of those boxes that you can get at Ikea, they come in different colors now. And I just kind of folded them in. And then I've got some slippers back there also. And then I just, just, just got these also, which have memory foam inside. Then I put my flats and then my heels. I wiped down all of the shelving. There was a lot of dust. And I got, oh my gosh, I cleaned off so much of my skincare stuff. I think I showed this in the last video, but I had way too, it was just overwhelming, like way too much skincare, especially in here. Like I keep a lot of it in my beauty room, but I just went through and I was like, what do I use on a nightly basis? So I went through, kept that. And then now some of the drawers are all, they're all empty, ready to be loved. This is my face mask drawer. So all of the face masks, which 
do not get used enough. And then I cleaned out this one, which is all of my hair stuff. So scrunchies and headbands, clips, and elastics are all in here. And then this is my hair care stuff. So brushes and then any hair care that I need. And then the rest is all in the ensuite, which I'll show you in a second. So shoes and everything are all cleaned out. I didn't really get rid of any running shoes. I said I would, and then I didn't. They just look better. And then I evenly spaced out the shelves because they were not evenly spaced out. So the other thing that I did here is I just put two little regular hooks up here to hang the bags. Cutest thing ever. Carl was helping me clean yesterday. And by helping, I mean not really. But he didn't know that this existed. And he's like obsessed with it. Like, Carl, oh, of course you're here. Oh my God, I just turned around and he was, do your dogs do this? Don't, don't. You're like a serial killer. Okay, come here. Do you want to come see your spot, your new spot that you just discovered? Come up here. This is, Andre got me this for Christmas. It's so cute. And I feel like it's very ironic because it says dreaming of St. Bart's, but it's like a Sherling like winter. So I was thinking for our next staycation, we really want to go back to Montebello. I feel like this would be perfect. I love it. Okay, Carl, come here. Look, what is this? What is this? Come see. Can you jump? Oh, he loves it. He loves the little window. So he had discovered it yesterday and he had never seen, it was like a new part of the house that he discovered. Oh, do you like your spot? Maybe that's a good spot for you to hang out. I think your dog trainer would say otherwise. <laughs> All right, so I organized what was in the bins above. So those are just less used, let's be real. I was saying to Andre, I was like, none of this is getting used in so long. Like I have a gift card for Nordstrom and I was like, what do I buy? And he's like, well, you can get a nice pair of shoes. And I was like, to wear, where? It's depressing. So none of this is getting worn right now and it just needs a hug. Maybe I'll just wear it around the house. Andre bought me this for Christmas and I'm so excited to wear it. Oh, update on Bora Bora. It got postponed, which is the right choice. Um, so we'll be going on, we'll be there this time next year, which is the right choice. <laughs> Hopefully we're there this time next year, but it'll be during our anniversary, which is perfect. So tropical stuff up there. This is also for Bora Bora. Listen, will it make it to Bora Bora? I don't know, like, will I still like it by then? Let's hope so. The one of the biggest changes was this area that I had shared with you guys. I decided to put my hats in here. These are usually like tucked away and I just think I think it looks really cute instead of just having like rickety old like I just had like toms and like flats and nasty sandals in there I think that's so much nicer and then I put my bag here it's not real I'm not do you know how much one of these real would be no if you've ever seen I have a brown one too it's not real it's from Amazon but it's beautiful it looks real pretty right I don't think it exists on Amazon I think they got taken off got dinged okay then I organized all of my sportswear. So I organized sports bras by, I always reach for a black sports bra. So I organized my black sports bras, gray and like neutral toned. And then I would say color, but clearly we have a trend of color. So all pink. And then I had a couple of extra colors and then just my crop tops from Gymshark are in here. And then I did my shorts, which I also cleaned out. So these are the shorts that I always talk about from Gymshark. There's a couple in the wash right now. They're the best. I'll link them down below. They're literally like, that's what I go for almost all the time. A lot of you guys asked about these the other day. I was wearing them on stories. They're like the booty, the booty defining shorts are really cute. And then look at this. So I have a couple of training sweaters in here, but the rest is empty. Pretty much empty. Pretty much empty. That's just jeans. I don't think I've worn jeans in like, I don't wear jeans and then empty. What to do? I don't know. So I don't know what to put in there or how to organize it. I started bringing stuff from back there over here and I just put it back to where it was. I have sweaters here, tank tops up there. And let me show you one of my most favorite spaces that I did. So I've always had my sunglasses all divided in here, which works really well for me. So I can see all of them and I have some blue light glasses here, but this is my new organization. What I used to have in here was like slacks and jeans and things that I never, I don't wear pants. Like I literally wear rompers every single day. I always have worked from home. So none of this is new, but especially right now, I'm not going anywhere or I want to like slap on a sweater or a comfy tank top. So I decided 
to just create like a little cozy corner. So I have my strapless soft rompers, cozy, like really cozy, just like lounge shorts, rompers, terry cloth rompers, and then really soft tank tops, which by the way, the Donuts, Dumbbells, and Dreams tank tops made it in there. Anyone asking about merch, let's have a real conversation. I always say that, but it needs to be addressed. I get a lot of questions about merch. I get a lot of questions about the website. They were short stint launches that we wanted to do to create a community, to create something for you guys. And they were amazing launches. Like the Donuts, Dumbbells and Dreams launch of the Dream Big Collection was amazing. Like I loved it and I loved the pieces. And then the Halloween one was huge. And then the Christmas one was amazing but it's not what we do full time. Like Andre and I were literally customer service and it was so much work behind the scenes, especially launching on months, months where I'm doing full time videos or full daily videos, plus my coaching job. It was a lot. So that being said, um, one on the back end of things, the shipping and the, I, how would you say like the packaging was not up to the snuff that we would want it to be. Was it still great? Yeah. Like we loved it and I love the products, but the amount of misprints, the amount of shipping issues or just delays, just please know that's not lost upon us. That's not what we want. So when we do launch a full collection, which we are working on stuff, it will be permanent and it will be amazing and it will be done in house. So it's coming, um, but that's why the website is down because I don't want it. I don't want to keep disappointing anybody. Not that that many, not that that many people are disappointed, but yeah, I would just rather it be pretty close to perfect than three people not have a great experience. So just know it's not lost upon us, and the merch will come back, and it's going to be bigger and better than ever. So this is the beginning of my cozy corner, which will hopefully include merch sometime soon, and then the second drawer which is also not full is all bottoms. So I did some biker shorts. These are jumpers. So cute how British people call jumpers. Like to me, what's a jumper for you? A jumper for me is like a long romper, like a one piece long jumpsuit. A jumper for a British person, and maybe it's everybody, maybe I'm wrong. But for a British person, it's a sweater or like a long sweater. I don't know, like a sweater. It's so cute. Sweater. Did you guys ever see that TikTok of the little dogs? I don't know if it's all dogs, but it's like, this is my, this is my sweater. I have that stuck in my head. Okay, I digress. I have casual, just loungy pants. And then here, which is probably my favorite and so well organized, I did not know how to store my sweaters. <laughs> so I just got these. I was wearing them in the other vlog. Love these sweaters. They're mostly all, these are all crops for working out mostly all crops were working out and then a couple of Disney ones and just like cozy go-to sweaters, sweaters. <laughs> Are you coming down? You can jump. You're like a cat. You've got it, bug. You're like an athlete. And then in here, see, I told you you got it. I organized my jewelry. I just took out any jewelry that I wasn't using or like that I just didn't, couldn't see. That was kind of the plan that I shared in the last vlog is I want to see everything I want it to be on display and just purge and donate anything that I'm not using. I organized all my little earrings, my little necklaces. I have like one belt and a half. I don't really, again, I don't wear denim, so. And then here I organized this. I kept one cute dinner mask back here, some perfume. I don't really have perfume. And then this, we're, we're pretty much all girls, so I can show you this. This is how I organize Mandy's. You can buy these honeycomb dividers on Amazon. So I did from like minimal wear to full coverage <laughs> at the back. And then socks, same thing, honeycomb. And then these came in a pack of three. So there was like a bra one, a sock one, and then I have bras here. So I do my strapless bras. These are a couple of casual sports bras. I have those lace ones here. I don't really wear not shocking. I don't really wear bras, so it's not really a big conversation for me. That's how I keep them organized. And then here is just like casual PJ stuff and then casual PJ stuff. So I feel really good about the level of organization that has happened in here. I think I've taken you through pretty much everything, right? I'm going to show you what I did in the guest washroom. So this is a room that you don't really see very often. We call it Carl's washroom because his little 
still pee pads on the floor. It's clean for once. So I often use the wet jet. I literally just clean this room. So I use a Swiffer wet jet, put everything that we didn't want out into the hallway and I'm completely revamping. Like, listen, this is what a revamp looks like. I'm revamping my beauty room. And then we're gonna attack Andre's office too. Babe. Hi. Hi. Hello. Okay, so here's what's going on in here. Kind of organize these shelves a little bit, couple towels. Oh, these are so good. If you have a pet, I just leave these open. They're like, what are they called? Scent boosters. They cut the scent really well. And then I have all his little pee pads in here. And then any just like little extras on the side. I grabbed some Disney soaps from the hotel. <laughs> For any guests that like, if we ever did do that. And then I cleaned all of this area. I have a nebulizer going. Oh, and we use this. I don't know if that's helpful. It's called a padlocker. It's kind of like a diaper genie for Carl. If you have a little puppy, you really want to be a part of it, right? And then look at this level of organization. So I did our medicine stuff, like any colds, um, muscle pain, reactin, um, tummy stuff, like Tums and stuff like that, Advil, pain medicine, vitamins, and then any ointments and band-aids in here. So it's all organized. And these are just the scub, I think is what they're called by Ikea. So they just fit like a little puzzle into the drawers. And then in here, I had these left over from my beauty room and it worked perfectly. They are by Made Smart, which you can either get online or you can get usually at like a home goods. That's where I got them. So I just kind of put all of our oils and stuff in here. Now I'm gonna show you the kitchen, but I feel really good that this is done. And I just like bleached and cleaned every inch of this room because when you have a puppy. <laughs> so the Valentine's Day stuff is probably going to come down fairly soon and I might switch it right into spring Easter stuff. Might. <laughs> I feel like everybody always gets excited about that. Okay, so here's what I wanna do with you guys. I bought this refrigerator organizer. Let me grab it. It's like a bunch of pieces. I think it's like six different pieces. Six pieces off of Amazon. I got this. So I want to put this in the fridge today and kind of organize. The fridge is already organized. I cleaned it yesterday. I cleaned all of the drawers. It kind of had like, it had like a refrigerator smell. So it was, it was bothering me. So I reorganized. Andre and I just bought this and it is so good. It's so good. It's lactose free, which I'm like, is that bad? But listen, it's a little treat, it's delicious. So I put all of our salad dressing stuff here. There's like sake down here and then any condiments here. So I tried to just categorize stuff so it made sense. This is like the breakfast kind of area, like apple cider vinegar, peanut butter, creams, oat creamer, that type of stuff. I don't know why we need so much whipped cream, but there's whipped cream. <laughs> breakfast stuff like eggs and cream cheese and butter and stuff dips are up here and then any pickles and olives cashew milk cream kombucha juice and coconut water and then all the bubbly and sparkling water i put all the citrus in here and then i had this which i just use for like ginger and turmeric and stuff which i thought was perfect because we juice that every day some lettuce pineapple and then any juices and stuff which these were literally from the bar cart. If you remember, whenever I did my summer like lemoncello bar cart, that's what this was from. And I was like, oh, we'll drink them throughout the year. We're about to come up on me redecorating the bar cart and no one has touched them. So we're just gonna leave them right here and they're gonna go back on the bar cart. <laughs> and then in here, so the first drawer I have some citrus and just like basil and cheese and stuff. And then our meats, some veggies in here. We go through so much celery, it's insane. And then more veggies potatoes, apples. My new evening routine is I cut up an apple. Like if I'm really craving like chips or something, I just cut up an apple and I do some lemon juice and sea salt and it usually cuts the craving for chips. Now, sometimes I might put chips on the side and have less of them, but it's working. So I've gotten that question a lot from you guys is like, if I love chippies, what do I do? Like you gotta cut it out cause it's gonna be too much after a while. And I also did the freezer which I've got booze on the top, organizing my glow cubes. See, the freezer still kind of has like that freezer smell. Suggestions? I put baking soda on the bottom of this one. I Googled it. Apparently you can put baking soda in the freezer. I didn't know that. 
So baking soda in here and baking soda in there, just like a little container of it. Apparently it's a thing and it helps. I just still feel like it has that smell. But yeah, this is all organized. And then I wanna put the trays, the refrigerator organizer trays. And then I just did this pantry. Now, there is a full video of me organizing this from last year and it is so satisfying. But last night, I literally just wanted to pop on Housewives, have a glass of wine and mash this out. And truth, it takes twice the amount of time to do something and film it. So I just wanted to get it done and show it to you, but it was a disaster, like a total disaster. So I wanted to kind of just fill, like I had like rice containers, I refilled all of these. So I have like the little, look how cute, like the little redone labels on here. So everything is labeled. I have our peanuts here and then more little accoutrements. This was sent to me. This is um, truffles in here in that little that little Aladdin looking tray, which I'm very, a little chest, I'm excited to try it. And then I have my prebiotic inulin collagen and post-workout. And then I have spices in here, oils, which honey as well, and then any baking stuff. Breakfast and then baking stuff. And then I've got pasta, Shakeology and flour. And then my beach bars, which is like my go-to thing. Oils and vinegars, noodles, soups, and then back here I have oatmeal, any meals and stuff like that, and then cans of stuff. And then under here I have all of the liquid IV. Do you really have to, you really wanna be here, be a part of it? And then I have all of my pre-workout, post-workout, electrolytes, Shakeology and stuff like that. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Cause it was just, it had accumulated after over a year of stuff. So just wanted to clean that out and wipe all the counters down and it felt good. So now left to do in terms of cleaning in the house is my beauty room, because what I do is anything that's in the room that I'm cleaning, I will take it out of the room and put it in another room, if it goes in that room. So I just kind of like move things from room to room and I purge as I go or I donate as I go. And that way, when one room is done, it's done. And it's not like stuff is everywhere. So last room to do will be my beauty room. I do want to help Andre with his office because that closet just totally needs to be done. And our storage room downstairs, we donated our Christmas tree, like the big Christmas tree that usually goes here. We donated it. So we're going to get a new one next year. And that storage room downstairs under the, under the, like in the furnace room, you guys have seen it before. It needs so much love. So that's going to be my next project. And then I'm going to put these in the fridge right now. Let's check it out. Okay. So there's an egg one. I don't know if I love the egg one. Like I just don't see the point of an egg organizer. Like it comes in an egg or organizer, but whatever. Who could use it for little lemons? <laughs> okay, and then these are all the same, which I think will be great. Oh, they're just they're all the same, and then one is just an egg one. Okay, I would have just taken six of these, but sure. Okay, let's do this. I think it does. Does it take up less room or more room? Like, is it actually helping? I don't know. I think it's probably helping. I'm thinking usually it's too wide and right now it's one, one and a half wide. So I think this technically takes up less room and then I'll put the white claws next to it so like all the beverages can be together. No. Oh, maybe it does hold, no. Okay, so final product, bubblies. It actually fits a lot more. So you can do three high, depending on obviously the height of, yeah, I think you could only do three high. So I have an extra container here, but this is why I got these so that I could label them and have one for apples, one for citrus, and just have things readily accessible. So what my plan is to make sure everything's rinsed and that we can just reach for it including Andre's white claws. <laughs> so I kept everything else in here. I feel like you could even do this to, you know, put the celery and the peppers out and just have everything out. But for right now, I think this makes sense. I don't even know if it's better. What do we think? Would you do this? And then the eggs are in this little container, which is what it is. It definitely cleared up a lot of room. 
So I got rid of two big bags of apples and then this wider container of eggs. So it definitely cleared out some room. So if you need a way to fit more into your fridge, like if you have a big family, that could make sense. I just don't love that they kind of overhang, but everything should be able to close. Yep. Okay. Well, on to organizing the beauty room and cleaning all of the things and I'll keep you guys posted as soon as the Ikea stuff comes in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little vlog session and me cleaning out the house today. I'm going to probably make some French toast now. Carl's staring at me. And I'm pretty sure Andre ordered himself some Uber Eats because that's what we do right now. <laughs> so if you guys did enjoy this, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. If you ding that bell, you'll get notified. And I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.